Over the past couple of years, server-based cloud computing has been joined by a new way of operating, known as serverless computing. The basic building block is no longer a server, but a single block of code, known as a function, which is run whenever a particular event, known as a trigger, occurs. Alibaba Cloud provides a serverless computing service known as Function Compute, which supports Java, Node.js, Python, and PHP. Simply upload your functions to Alibaba Cloud's infrastructure and trigger them as required via a URL, a timer, or some other action. This video explains the concept of the Function Compute facility on Alibaba Cloud, and then shows you how to use it step by step. To follow this video, you'll need an Alibaba Cloud account. If you don't already have one, head to www.alibabacloud.com and sign up. The easiest way to try out Function Compute is via the web-based console, so that's what we'll use here. Before you can use Function Compute, you need to activate the Alibaba Cloud log service and create a log store. We'll assume that you have already done this, but if you haven't, then you'll need to do so. To start working with Function Compute, you need to create a service, which is a container for one or more functions. Log into your Alibaba Cloud account and, from the main console under Elastic Computing, choose Function Compute. Choose a region. Click on the blue Create Service button, give it a name and a description, and slide the control to enable advanced settings. Assuming you've already created a log project and log store, select the one you want. Under Role Config, set the role operation to Create New Role, then click the Authorize button. Click Confirm Authorization Policy. With the service created, we can now create a function within it. Click on the blue Create Function button. From the list of templates, select the Empty function. For the trigger type, choose No Trigger and click the Next button. The service name is already entered. Enter a name and description for your function and choose a runtime language from the list offered. We'll choose Python 3. The code editor window shows the basic code for your empty function, which is simply going to write hello world to the log store. To ensure that we can recognize our function's output when we examine the log store later, we'll change the text slightly. Change the function's allocated memory from the default 512 megabyte to 128 megabyte. This is plenty for our demo function. Click the Next button twice more. Click the Create button to create your function. We can run our function by clicking the Invoke button. Now, let's create a trigger that uses a timer to automatically invoke our function every few minutes. Click on the Triggers link and then click the Create Trigger button. Choose a trigger type of Time Trigger and give it a name. We'll set our interval to 4 minutes. Click OK. After a while, return to the main console and to the log service, and then view the log store. As you can see, our function was invoked every 4 minutes as specified. And that's it! In this video, we've shown how to create and trigger a function using Alibaba Cloud Function Compute. Why not try it out for yourself at www.alibabacloud.com slash product slash function dash compute. Thanks for watching.